everybody and welcome back to Dungeons 2 and I've not done one of these videos for quite a long time uh, but there's some new DLC come out called A Game of Winter so I thought we would give that a whirl and see what the new race is. I take it it's the undead but we'll find out. After the complete destruction of King's Ending, the last remaining Alliance troops gathered at the wall in the north. Bartha's Snow had just taken command of the North Watch when the fiery priestess Meltisand arrived. A dangerous mission stood before young Barthas, one that would change his life forever. Once upon a time there was a kingdom full of flowers and rainbows that had been overrun by evil. <coughs> Krotos and the rest of his ridiculous troops fell victim to the abominable evil and the pitiful remnants of the Alliance fled in panic before the Horde and the demons. The capital of King's Ending had fallen and was now more or less an outhouse for evil's fiends. But a hero emerged from the chaos to courageously confront the evil. Meltisand, the Red Priestess, who used her pyromaniacal tendencies for the benefit of the last do-gooders. <laughs> I wonder who that's a comparison with. The remaining members of the Alliance rallied under her banner, for while the night was dark and full of terrors, there was nothing a nice little fire couldn't take care of. The last few do-gooders found refuge in the north beyond the Plaguelands on the Wall of Ice that had for eons separated the Alliance from the wild and snowy countries. Here stood the troops of the North Watch, a sworn brotherhood who kept watch over the north and to alleviate the boredom, teased each other through the creation of strange rules, such as a celibate lifestyle. This story is about the leader of the North Watch, a young hero by the name of Barthas. Barthas Snow. <laughs> Barthas had recently lost his brother and had become the captain of the North Watch in his place. Now he went out to track down a missing patrol. Beyond the wall in the north. What awaited him there? This is the story. <coughs> Well, well, how the hell have they got away with all the comparisons there to Game of Thrones? Bartholomew Snow. <laughs> Not cold, Lady Meltisand. No, the fire god warms me inside. Are you a virgin, Barthas? No, my lady. I'm a Sagittarius, <laughs> born in November. Oh my, you know oh, nothing, dear. Barthas Snow. I know that we'd better strengthen this wall. Winter is coming. For once in your life, you're right, boy. Winter is coming, that much is certain. Winter is coming? Winter is coming? Have these two jokers taken a look around here lately? There's snow everywhere. And there has been for as long as anyone here can remember. How much more winter can you get? <clears throat> oh yes, sorry. We wanted to tell a story here, didn't we? Bartha Snow and the fiery priestess Meltisand had gathered the few remaining Alliance troops at the base of the wall in the north of the Empire. But alas, even here did danger threaten. For, as everyone here knew, winter was coming. <laughs> even if we only wish to somehow survive the winter, we will need more gold to buy supplies. Lead your men to the old gold mine to the north and capture it. And since you're going that far north anyway, try to find your Uncle Banjo as well. He's been on the road far too long. Certainly, milady. And so Bartha Snow 
dutifully strode north. He had not an inkling of the horrors that awaited him there. Okay. Can we take any of these troops? No. Oh, yes. No. No. Obviously not. News of Barthas' arrival had spread amongst the guards. Time and again, one heard remarks such as, I heard he strangled a bear with his bare hands, and they say his father was really a dragon, or expressions like, My brother told me that Barthas uses three different rinses to get those beautiful curls. Okay, so we're getting to control Barthas. Why can't I get any troops? Careful those arrows, son. You could hit some poor adventurer in the knee. <laughs> Took an arrow to the knee. No. No. Okay, obviously he can't have any troops. I'm sure the uh, commentator then said, gather your troops. Okay. Bartha Snow reached a heavy gate in the wall of eternal ice. Behind it stretched the endless wastes of the wild north. What would he find there? Well, I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. Open the gate, man. With heavy tread, the leader of the North Watch stomped off into a sea of snow and ice. Burn the corpses, men. The night is dark and full of terrors. And my marshmallows won't toast themselves, you know. <laughs> dear, dear, dear. The cursed forest. We'll have to cut it back again soon. The North Watch ensures that the forest never grows closer than half a mile to the wall. Otherwise, you always end up with those ugly green spots on the brickwork. Oh, and enemies could also sneak up under cover of the trees. <laughs> oh dear. I really like what they've done with this. I'm guessing that the reason we have to... Bloodstains. Maybe Uncle Banjo is injured. We have to use the hero. Is it because he's going to become our evil dungeon master? Ew, what have we got here? Bartha Snow reached the point where his Uncle Banjo was last seen. Instead of a warm welcome, all he found was icy silence. Whoever had camped here was now dead. Something had cruelly savaged the bodies before the wolves fell upon the remains. Barthas took out his anger on the innocent animals, just as any good hero slavering for experience points would. sent a raven to the North Watch headquarters. Soon, reinforcements would arrive to build a new camp here. Yet Barthas didn't want to give up hope and continued to look for his Uncle Banjo. Uncle Banjo. Of 
come along the bar fast. Snow. Again. I should follow this trail of blood. Barthas arrived at the gold mine. According to legend, a Dutchman once got lost here. However, Barthas didn't believe one word of it. Mostly because there wasn't a single Dutchman in this world, but instead hordes of orcs and the like, who currently occupied the gold mine. He made ready to drive the vermin out. Mine was freed from the Horde's yoke. Now, the North Watch would have the necessary income to buy enough supplies for the winter. North of the gold mine, the cursed forest suddenly pulled back to reveal a path. What kind of witchcraft was at work here? Barthas! Barthas! Look for me! Beyond the trees! North! Find your destiny! Him again? Where does that wizard always come from? From the moon? And of course, Barthas followed his enticing voice. Typical. More blood. I wonder where this trail will lead. This trail of blood just goes on and on and on. Just how much blood can one man lose anyway? Barthas reached a large area wreathed in fist-sized snowflakes. Suddenly, the dire straits rushed at him, playing soothing rock music. Oh, right, wait a minute. They wrote dire wolves. That's probably somewhat less enjoyable. This dire wolf really put Close. Barthas in some dire straits. If only he'd brought his six-blade knife on this walk of life, at times like this, he missed his brothers in arms. Yet he still hadn't found his uncle and his banjo. Hmm, I think I'm starting to mix things up here. <laughs> Follow the path. We can't get anybody else to help. Come along. Bath is snow. Let's see what's up north. The north. Come to the north. As Barthas climbed the icy hill, undead suddenly rose from the frozen ground. <laughs> we weren't expecting that, were you? Yep, yeah, I actually was. Oh, fine. <laughs> Seeing as how you're so well prepared, let's see you kill these undead, who in fact are already dead. <laughs> Come on.
Barthas had reached the end of his journey in the icy north. Before him lay naught but frozen mountains and hills. Would he ever find his banjo? <laughs> Wait a minute, what's all this about again? At last you arrive, chosen one. Enter and behold thy fate. No sooner had our friend with the ragged dress style spoken these momentous words than the ground opened up to reveal a path to an ancient dungeon to which Barthas felt magically drawn. Barthas entered an ancient mysterious cave. What might it conceal? The voice was urgent and wanted him to continue onward. This isn't going to end well. Follow me. As Barthas touched the crystal, pure energy coursed through him, and an ancient power awoke. Yet in that second, all life drained from the leader of the North Watch. And there we have it. There is the first mission in the new DLC, Winter is Coming. <laughs> Which obviously is a direct reference to Game of Thrones. All right. That's it folks, so let me know if you like the videos and if you want to see any more of this uh, Dungeons 2 new DLC. If you do, let me know in the comments below and please leave me a like and subscribe. This is Old Grace signing off.